Mysterious lights. Several sightings from widely scattered locations. Sounds like gunfire, said Mrs. Nottage. Scared the daylights out of my horses. Authorities puzzled. I tried to tell them they wouldn't listen. Tried to tell them what? That it's a spacecraft. Ah, I mean from Mars. Yeah, exactly. I've been trying to tell the authorities for years, but they got rocks in their heads. Now, this is my chance to prove once and for all that they really are visitors from outer space. Well, we'll gladly look into it for you. But, of course, our approach is to investigate all possibilities. I know, I know. Will you take the job? Sure. Mr... Worley. E.T. Worley. Worley. You can call me Ernie. Well, it gave me quite a fright. I mean, that sort of thing doesn't happen every day, does it? I was around the back of the caravan. Would you yeah, mind not eating that quite so loudly, Plankton? I can't hear the television. Probably all hits because they're loud apple. I wouldn't have seen everything. It was about seven o'clock in the evening. There was a bright light. Then there was a noise, like a cannon or something. And then this thing came down. Oh, I don't mind telling you. <laughs> you know what that is, don't you? Space junk. All those thousands of satellites they put up into orbit. Well, they stay up there for a while, whizzing around the Earth, and then you know what happens, don't you? They come back down again, that's what happens. One day somebody's going to get hit on the head with one of those things, I tell you. How can you be sure it was a satellite? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? You know, it's a disgusting situation, Plankton. Waste of money sending all that junk up in the sky. But what about weather satellite and communication satellites for phone calls and a television It's a waste of the taxpayers' money. No, it's not. Television stations have to pay to use those satellites. Nevertheless, it is still a waste of... pay? Money? Plankton. See what we have in the files on launching Earth satellites. All this talk about other possibilities is just wasting time. We will be wasting time if we go charging off into the bush looking for something that isn't there. Okay, right. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Well, let's confirm there were no army manoeuvres in that area. Uh, what about man-made satellites coming down? Yeah, I'll check it out. I'll get onto the Air Force. Why don't you ring the planetarium and ask them if they're missing a comet? Uh, that's the one thing it couldn't have been. How come? Hello? Yeah, look, I'm ringing to see if there was any satellites or fragments of satellites that may have come down yesterday in the state anywhere. Yeah, sure, I'll hang on. Comets? Hmm? Oh, well, the people who saw it said it made a long streak of light behind it. So? A comet's got a long streak of light behind it? Ah, uh, a comet's tail's not really behind it. And a comet doesn't move through the air. It's way out in space. So far, in fact, it doesn't even look like it's moving at all. Whatever it was that people saw yesterday, it was very close yeah. to the Earth, in our mm -hmm. atmosphere, and it did seem to be falling. Right. OK, thanks very much. Bye. Not a satellite? Now do you believe me? Mm. I think it's time we went out and talked to some of the people that actually saw this. Why? Well, that way we get a better idea of where to look and maybe get a few clues of what it really is. OK. OK. I think the next most likely explanation is that it was a meteorite. But they're just like comets, aren't they? And you oh, said that... Oh, no. No, meteorites are very different. Mobile launcher, 
main rocket and payload, the uh, satellite. <laughs> Don't you think it'll be a little too heavy, Vortman? Oh, I'm not at all planked in the Vortmobile's a sturdy little machine. I'm sure there are better places to launch rockets. A, a mobile launch is the latest thing, Plankton. We've got to keep up with the times. Now, if you'd be so kind as to get my equipment, I can begin immediate work on the prototype. Vort launch one. Oh, drat. Oh, excuse me. wonder if you can help me. Yeah, I think you'll find the hairdressers a little further down the street. This the building where Infinity Limited is? Oh, yes, Infinity ah, Limited. Allow me to handle this, if you don't mind, Plankton. I do step this way, sir. Can I be of any assistance? What's the problem? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> see, I've got a mining claim pegged out uh, up in the bush. Yeah, yeah, I've been working it for all six months now. Had a bit <laughs> of luck. But there's somebody been digging on my claim and I want them caught. Ah, oh, but of course, I'm only too happy to help you out, my good man. Now, um... What is it exactly that you are mining, if I may inquire? Gold. Gold? You catch those thieves, I'll see you well paid. Ah, but of course, sir, but of course. Well, how soon can you come out? Well, just as soon as we finish... We the leave party. immediately. Just get this hey, way. Oh, oh, so you see a comet orbits around the sun, like this. Its tail's actually made up of particles, lit up by the sun. Even when it's close enough to the Earth to see, it's still millions of kilometres away. Meteorites are totally different ball game. This is the Earth. Now there are lots of lumps of rock out in space which come into the Earth's atmosphere at tremendous speeds, between 20 and 70 kilometres a second. So the friction with the atmosphere makes them glow. They're easier to see at night, of course. Mm, shooting stars. Yeah, except they're not really stars. Some of these rocks head straight towards the Earth. Mostly they burn up in the atmosphere, but some get through and hit the Earth. Now that's your meteorite. Okay, okay, so it could be a meteorite. But if it is a spacecraft from outer space, I don't want it to take off before you find it, do I? So how about you get out and start looking? What now? But it's lunchtime. Come on, Rick, forget your stomach for once. It keeps reminding me. Let's start by talking to the lady with the horses. She said she actually saw something falling. I'd like to know exactly what it was. I reckon they used dynamite. Because I heard a hell of a bang this morning. Didn't see anything, though, because I was in my hut the other side of the hill. Down, but... Well, worry no more. We'll find out who they are if they come back with a little help from this. <laughs> oh, right up. I'll leave you fellas to it. Right. Uh, <clears throat> now, Plankton, uh, yes, now you set up the tent behind that rock there so we can watch the hole, all right? How are we going to take pictures if we're in the tent and the camera's there? It's quite easy, my boy. Now, just watch me carefully, will you, there? The camera we set up here. Thieves come here and we watch them. Oh. At first it was glowing with sparks coming off it, tearing across the sky. Then it began to dip down, but it wasn't glowing then. It was just a black speck that sort of whistled as it went through the air. Then it disappeared. It must have been pretty scary. Oh, it was. Well, which direction was it heading when you last saw it? Um, oh, over to the west. Right, well, we're standing here. You were looking west. So whatever it was, must have landed somewhere along this line. Mm, about how far away do you think it was? Oh, I couldn't tell you that. What we need to do is find someone who got a good look at it from here or from here. So we can pinpoint the position. We'll get onto that tomorrow. Thanks for talking to us. Oh, glad to have been of help. No! No, go away! It wasn't. Mum! Mum! I'll get a job tomorrow night! Stop it! Stop it! it. It's Stop. all right! Stop, Stop it! Stop. It's all right! Eh? Uh, what? Only me. There's. Thank you. You were asleep, Vortex. You knocked the pole over with your arm. I did no such thing. Don't be absurd. What are you doing up at this hour anyway? Well, I couldn't sleep. I got up. I was watching from the tent most of the night, but nobody came. Well, they probably snuck up behind you without you noticing them. Well, I wouldn't worry about a plankton. I'll bet we got a good photograph of them. Well, I don't know, Vortex. I think the camera must have fallen over. It was pointing up at the sky. <laughs> Kicked over, no doubt, by the thieves. Now, quickly, plankton. Let's get back to town and develop the photograph. Well, couldn't it have been kicked over by a wombat or a marsupial? Just pack the tent, Plankton. Mm. Oh, lovely. Well, I've been driving.
driving around the countryside searching for witnesses. You've been stuffing your face with calories. I just got back. I've interviewed dozens of people this morning. Besides, I didn't have any breakfast this morning or dinner last night, so I thought at least I deserved a decent lunch. Oh, did you find any decent witnesses? No, did you? Yes. You did? Oh, yes. Now, that's where Mrs Nottage was. I found a man here who said he saw a dark object falling. And it wasn't a black pudding. And it wasn't a black pudding. And he said he was looking in this direction when he saw it. Which means that whatever it was that came down must be around here somewhere. Well, let's get out and have a look for it then. What about your lunch? Lunch? They can wait. Maybe it can wait for you. Mm. Vortex? Yes, Plankton? Shouldn't we have reached the Vortmobile by now? Yes, Plankton. We seem to have been walking all day. We have been. We're not lost, are we, Vortex? Of course not, Plankton. It'll be getting dark soon. How are we going to find our way then? Well, if he'd remember to pack that compass, we might... Compass? I thought I told you that you were going to... Can't stop now. There's still a big area to be searched. Yeah, well, just too big for the two of us, if you ask me. Maybe we shouldn't have talked our UFO freak out of coming with us. <laughs> oh, no. It would have been too much. Gotcha! <gasps> Hang on, hold on. Got who? Don't muck about. You're the ones who've been digging for my gold. Well, digging? Well, with our bare hands. Oh. Well, who are you, then? Infinity Limited. We're scientific investigators. Infinity Limited? Hmm. I can't. Well, if you're Infinity Limited, who's been watching the hole? What hole? A hole. Vortex. Yes, Plankton. We're lost. Admit it. We're lost! Oh, no. Look, just don't panic, Plankton. Thank your lucky stars that I am here to... Stars? Stars! Wait a minute, Plankton. Maybe there's another way we can navigate. Now, where's the diagram? Just somewhere here. <laughs> Got it. Look. The Southern Cross, eh? And these two very bright stars here are called the Pointers. Well, that's all very nice, but what's the use of it? It's all coming back to me now, Plankton. My old uh, scout training, you know. <laughs> dib, dib, dib. Dob, dob, dob. <laughs> now, you have to imagine, like it's marked here, that there is a line coming from the Southern Cross and another line coming from directly between the pointers. Now, the point where they intersect is directly above due south. So... So, if we head directly due south, why, then we're bound to hit the road where the Vortmobile's parked. <laughs> All right, then. Let's go. Relax, Plankton. It won't be dark for another four hours yet. Well, it could have been dynamite. Well, I don't really know what a dynamite hole looks like. Maybe it was caused by a mysterious falling object. Yeah, wouldn't that be great? What's that you're sitting on? It's a rock. What's it look like? Birthday cake? That's exactly the sort of surface you get with a meteorite. It's caused by the burning as it falls through the atmosphere. Can I have that? Rick, I really think this is a meteorite, and I am meteorite. It's huge. It must have hit the ground there and bounced over here. Oh, you're not trying to tell me that's what I heard. Well, we'll have to have it checked out properly, but I reckon. Well, don't expect me to lift it for you. Maybe some pieces broke off. Mayor? Yeah, go for your life. you think? It's pretty heavy, isn't it? Let's take it back to headquarters. We'll let you know what turns up. Yeah, right out. And I'll keep my eyes open for those two clowns pretending to be you. I don't trust them. Are you sure we're going in the right direction, Vortex? Positive. How can you navigate by the stars when the whole sky is covered with clouds? Yes, that's a very good question, Plankton, but I'm far too tired to answer right at this moment. 
don't mean to. Can't we stop here and wait till daylight? Ah. Oh. oh, well, if you insist. <clears throat> yes, now, Plankton, I think you can set up the uh, tent just over there on that clearing. Grass seems nice and soft, don't you? Plankton? Plankton? Isn't it always the same when there's work to be done as Plankton? Plankton? Hello. How'd you go? You find anything? Hey, you find anything? Oh, uh, yeah, we did. Uh, Rick should be back soon. He took it down to the geology department. Took what? Hello, Ernie. Well, this is what all the fuss was about. I'm afraid it's not from a spaceship. As far as we can work out, it's from a meteorite. Is that all? Is that all? This is fantastic. Hundreds of these fall down every year, but they're hardly ever found. I had it cut in half and polished. See, that sort of meteorite's mainly iron and nickel, and it's got a unique crystal structure about it. You just don't get rocks like this on Earth. Unless they land. So this is actually from uh, outer space? Yeah. I suppose you could call it a visitor. It's not the sort you were hoping for, though. Look at it this way, Ernie. You just won yourself a very unique paperweight. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Uh. Langton, I think, I think we'd better pack the tent. Hey, when are the people from the geology department going out to pick up that meteorite? Well, tomorrow, they said. Uh, we were very lucky, you know. We'll probably never find anything like that again. Yeah, a UFO freak was pretty disappointed, though. Speaking of freaks, what on earth is that noise out there? Well, come in. It's not locked. Oh, uh, good day. Well, I'm still looking for them other two. They took some of me picks and shovels. Well, we haven't seen any sign of them for a couple of days. You're not still having trouble with claim jumpers, are you? Nah, reckon I was on the wrong track about that. Uh, I suppose I owe you something for your troubles. Um, here, have this. Thanks a lot. Gold finger. <laughs> Wasn't it funny when we woke up in the middle of the main street? Now, keep quiet. My only hope is that we somehow managed to get a photograph of the gold thieves. Now, aha, it's becoming a little clearer now. What? Well, I don't see any gold thieves, Vortex. Yeah, that makes two of us. What are those funny lines? Bomb. 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 Plankton! We're being invaded! Aliens! What? Quickly, we've got to launch forward one straight away. Surveillance of the enemy. They might not be hostile. I may be friends of E.T. Roger! Now, where's my picks and shovels, eh? Behave yourself, sir, sir. Sir, sir, sir. Well, you want to know what? And you want to know how? 